And here we are with our main event this week on the reality of wrestling. There he comes right now, the youngest reality of wrestling champion in history, the Latin heartthrob, Gino. Gino has found himself on an interesting path in 2020. He has not been in the reality wrestling title picture as of late, but that has not deterred him at all from being dominant in the reality of wrestling. But he's found an interesting uh, opponent as of late, Clay Roberts, Skipperville's own Clay Roberts. Has been quite the uh, thorn in Gino's side, for lack of a better term. He's been bringing it to the Latin heartthrob, and tonight could possibly be his night, but not if Gino Medina has anything to say about it. Gino, of course, attitude aside, personality aside, He's one of the very best this company has ever seen. The ever confident, the ever athletic, Fino Davino, Gino. Trying to find a perfect opportunity to use that scarlet letter. But here he is right now. Skipperville's favorite son, Clay Roberts. Oh, easy there, babe. Easy there, man. Don't get too close to the edge of that stage, but here he comes right now. A man who has always been right there in every match he's ever been in. He has never been dominated. He has never been beaten quickly. This is a man who has risen to the occasion. He has risen to the level of his opponents. Clay's been at this for several years now. Maybe not as long as Gino, but what he lacks, perhaps an experience comparatively to the former road champion, he more than makes up for than a willingness to get in there and scrap with whoever stands across the ring from him. Referee Isaac Bouillon asking these two men, are they ready? They answer in the affirmative. Oh, look at that though. The Gino throwing the t-shirt at Clay Roberts' face. A little gamesmanship, a little mind games. And guys, you're going to be in for a treat. This is going to be a technical battle between these two guys. Clay Roberts is one of the better technicians when you talk about the skill and the art of professional wrestling. He is very technical. He is very skillful. He's got all the abilities. Oh, look at that. One, two. Cover after two, wait. Gino kicks out even before a one count. He's got all the abilities. Oh, but does he have the confidence of Gino Medina? Gino is somebody who oozes confidence, borderline cockiness, some might say arrogance, narcissistic tendencies, sure, but his resume speaks for himself. Side headlock here. Clay Roberts looking for a reversal out of it. He does. Putting that arm right behind Gino. Interlocking his fingers with Gino, trying to apply pressure to that shoulder. Gino getting to the bottom rope. Clay Roberts, five count. Clay Roberts, of course, no objection to the referee's decision. He's gonna play by the book. He's gonna play by the rules. Letting go of the hold. And now Gino looking at Clay like, hey, you know what? I gotta respect you a little bit more. I wasn't exactly ready for that. Look at Clay. You can tell this man has passion for what he does. He loves being in that squared circle. And the only thing he loves more than being in there is being victorious inside the ring. And again, for the third time this evening, we're seeing the, our two competitors with a test of strength. And Gino definitely has a size and strength advantage. Although maybe slight in the size. He's definitely more muscular. He's got, he's got a little bit bulk, more bulk than Clay Roberts, and he's using that to his advantage. And look, pinning the shoulders to the mat. Count of two. Clay Roberts gets that left shoulder up. Gino trying to force it down. And he got it again. One, two, kick out. Oh, look at that. Clay Roberts. What I tell you about a skillful man. Wow, look at <laughs> He's got Gino on the ground now. In a matter of seconds, Clay Roberts went from having his shoulders pinned to the mat to now having Gino in a precarious position. Oh, but Gino reversal. Clay Roberts kicks out of that. 
Gino against the ropes. Leapfrog by Clay. These two men matching each other move for move. Gino reversal out of the arm drag. Clay Roberts over, and he does it. The proverbial skin in the cat. Clay Roberts, boom, with a beautiful kick to Gino. But taking a moment to get the adulation of some of the crowd here. Cover one, two. Look at that. That second right there, Clay, could have been the match. That could have decided it. He needs to be more mindful about that. That comes with experience like anything. Gino, look at that. Just getting the advantage on Clay. And oh my goodness, Clay Roberts hitting the deck as hard as I've seen in a while. Looked like he might have hit the back of his head on that one. And Gino's proud of his work. Nonchalant cover one, two. Very close there. That was very close. Gino thought he might have had it right there, and now he has Clay where he wants him. Oh, Gino going for a big chop to the chest, but he meets Clay's answer. There's a second, going for the third, miss, and now Gino fires him off. Oh, and look at Clay Roberts' face after feeling those two chops from Gino. He registered every single ounce of the torque and inertia behind those chops. Oh, big scoop and a slam there from El Campeon, the former El Campeon. And now Gino going to the outside, going for that beautiful springboard maneuver, shades of Eddie Guerrero, but a swing and a miss. And now Clay Roberts has a chance to get back in this thing. Oh my goodness, beautiful right there. Spinning elbow drop, going for a cover. Is he gonna get him over? Clay Roberts slow to get it, but one, two. Kick out after two. Clay Roberts definitely feeling the effects of this highly physical, highly technical contest between these two men. Oh, look at that, beautiful. Right up to the side of the temple, one, two. Kick out after two. Gino's gonna have to do a lot more than that, but Gino might just be softening Clay Roberts up. Might be attacking that upper body. Oh, wait, hold on now. Referee telling him you need to respect me. He'll Isaac Bouillon will disqualify you in a heartbeat. Now just stomping on the hands of Clay Roberts. Gino picking him up again, a big scoop and a slam. Clay really landing on the high shoulders, the upper neck, upper back. And Gino might just try to soften him up, as I was gonna say a minute ago, and hit him with that scarlet letter, but now Clay Roberts blocking Gino by grabbing his boot and just a stomp on that hand. Oh. Clay with a couple shoulder thrusts to Gino. Oh, and gets him right in the dome again. Right in the middle of the forehead. Reminded me of when Deontay Wilder punched Luis King Kong Ortiz right in the middle of the head and knocked him out. But now, Gino crawling to the top turnbuckle. Clay meeting him with a right hand, knocking the champion back. Oh, there's another one. Gino firing back a left, I mean, a right of his own. Clay Roberts with the right hand. Back to Gino. What is he thinking? Uh oh. There's only one way you could do this. But Gino looks like he's blocking his... Clay's gonna try to go for a suplex off the second rope. He's not getting enough from Gino. He's not able to bring him over. Gino just shoves him back to the ground. But Clay finds a way to get back up. Chopped to the chest while Gino's sitting there on the top rope. And what is he gonna do? He's just gonna throw him all the way down to the bottom of the mat. What goes up? We know the rest. Both of these men down. Isaac Bouillon starting his count. Up to a count of three. Who's gonna get to the vertical base first? Whichever man does is gonna have a distinct advantage. And it looks like they get back at the same time. Gino with a head full of steam catches a piece of Clay's elbow right against his jawbone. And there's a couple boots to match him. Clay Roberts leapfrog over Gino, kick to the middle of the gut. Oh, and an elevated knee followed by a lariat. 
spinning back neck breaker. Oh, and Clay Roberts, look at that, finding a way this long into this match to still kip up like it's nothing. I tell you the energy and enthusiasm this guy brings to the ring. Oh, and look at that. Modified jumping scissor kick of some kind cover. One, two. Oh my God, I thought he had him right there. And so did Clay Roberts. Gino finding a way to kick out at the very last second. Two and 15 sixteenths was Gino. Clay Roberts trying to get Gino in position for that spinning back heel kick, but Gino, a super kick to the back of the head. Clay Roberts might be out. Gino senses it. One, two. Oh my gosh. Kick out after two. Gino senses that Clay Roberts might have been out at that. Now out of frustration, pulling his hair out of his perfectly manicured bun. I say that to say, you know he's pissed off. Gino, jaw jacking with the ref again. I don't know if he's trying to work him the same way James Harden might work an NBA referee like Scott Foster. But a chop to the chest while Clay Roberts is on his knees. Clay Roberts trying to fire up here. Oh! Fighting back. The fighting spirit. Oh! And another. El Intocable, Gino, trying to put the hair back up. But that momentary lapse in judgment left an opening for Clay Roberts to try to bring some offense to get back into this one. Gino, Clay Roberts, swinging and miss, ducked it. Now he's got him in a side headlock. Where's he gonna send him with this one? Oh, look at that. And he's got him in a cross face. He's got him in a cross face. He's pulling back on the neck and the shoulder muscle of Gino. Gino is in obvious pain in the middle of the ring with nowhere to go. He is far away from the bottom rope. Can Clay Roberts get the victory here? Gino trying to inch closer to the bottom rope, but that cross face is locked in deep. Clay Roberts trying to prevent him. Will he get him right here? Look at the intensity on the man's face from Skipperville. He is feeling it right now. Gino almost getting a toe, and he does. He gets his right leg on the bottom rope. Clay Roberts has no choice but to break the hold, and he was right there. Clay Roberts taste victory. He was so close. Gino holding on to that middle rope, not trying to give Clay anything. Oh, oh wow, look at that. Clay Roberts eating that top rope right in the throat. And the sadistic smile on the Latin heartthrob. He's feeling it. He's got him in that fireman's carry position. Gonna go for a snake eye as he gets him there. Roll through. El Campeon looking for that elevated knee and falls right outside the ring. That was definitely not on the game plan for Gino. Clay Roberts. You can tell the gas tank is running low, but he's not going to let that stop him. Referee's up to a count of four. Is Gino going to be able to get up? Now at a count of five. Six. Gino gets back in, and Clay Roberts. Clay Roberts caught him right back in that cross face. He got it right back in the cross face. And look at Clay Roberts' face. He is not going to let Gino out this time. He's got him in a great position. The champion, the former champion, seems to be fading. Oh, but look at that. A cheap shot poking the eyes of Clay Roberts for the second time in this contest. In a very short span of time, Clay Roberts had Gino in a winning position. And now a kick to the back of the head again. Gino slow to go over to the cover, but it looks like he thinks this is all cover. One, two, oh! Wow, two and 15 sixteenths once again. This is your main event on Reality of Wrestling and it is living up to its name. Now Gino is going to measure up the Skipperville Serpent. He's gonna measure him up for that move that has won him oh so many matches and oh so many championships. He wants to hit Clay Roberts with that scarlet letter. Oh, elevated knee normally followed by the scarlet letter. Clay Roberts finding a way out of it. Wait a minute, he's fighting Gino. He's trying to get him back in the cross face. Gino counters, but Clay Roberts won. Two, three, Clay Roberts did it. Clay Roberts did it. Clay Roberts did it. 
What a shocking ending to this match. Somehow, some way, Clay Roberts countered out of that scarlet letter. Tried to get him into the cross face. Gino countered that, but Clay double countered it into a pinning predicament and got Gino for the three count. Three seconds is all it takes to make you a star in reality of wrestling. And Clay Roberts just put his name next on the list. What a great main event for you this week on the reality of wrestling. For Booker T, for our director Kevin Barnhart, my name is Brad Gilmore, and we will see you next week on the front row of sports entertainment, the reality of wrestling.